And girls, this is Jernigan here, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, 1,200 Ukrainian troops surrendered in Maripol in Ukraine and claimed by the Russian mob. I don't think they did. The Rus that's what the Russian says, but the Ukrainian Ukrainians uh, said it didn't. So let's watch the video. And tell me what you think about this. Is it right? Is it wrong? So not, there's no volume on it at the minute. These, you know, I don't think the Ukrainians have, have surrendered. They'll take the take it back if they do. Who knows? There's my feet, as you can see. I've had a nice bath, I'm refreshed and ready to go. As one would say to me now, my phone is on low battery as well, so it may not film all the thing. It may go off. It's in the Sun News. At the top, where you get the Sun newspaper, and where you live in the world. In the city of Mariupol, in the area of the metallurgical plant Illich, as a result of successful offensive operations of the Russian armed forces and units of the Donetsk People's Republic Militia, 1,026 Ukrainian Marines voluntarily laid down their arms and surrendered. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry says it has no knowledge about any surrender, and that Russian forces are continuing their attacks on Yazovstal and the port area. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. During the night, high-precision sea and air-based missiles destroyed two large missile and artillery weapons depots of the Ukrainian armed forces near Sadova and Chudnov. Four Ukrainian helicopters, two Mi-24 and two Mi-8, were also destroyed at Mirgorod's so, military bomb, airfield. You can see. Operational Tactical Aviation of the oh, Russian sorry. Aerospace Forces hit 46 military assets of Ukraine. Among them, two command posts and one radar station near Baravoya, two multiple rocket launchers, and four areas of Ukrainian military equipment concentration near Baravoya and Peskiratkovska. Russian air defense means shot down two Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles in the air over Afanasyevka. Missile troops and artillery hit 693 enemy assets, namely 676 areas of Ukrainian personnel and military equipment concentration, 11 command posts, and 5 logistics depots. Well, what do you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen think about this? Did they win or did they just making it up? Or the Russians trying to make themselves look good against the Ukrainians or the Ukraines alone? Who knows? Anyway, thank you for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. They hope to get their soldiers back up again. If they've lost any. May recapture it again. Thank you very much. Peace. Take it easy.